Hi folks, welcome back. I'm going to do a, uh, another battery experiment here tonight and uh, I'm going to build a, a bracelet battery but, but first I wanted to give you a, uh, a little update on uh, the effects of uh, boosting my um, body's voltage. Uh, I've been playing around with my body, body electric now for uh, a little over two weeks and about a week ago I decided I would uh, push uh, the amount of time that I wore the bracelets around and boosted my uh, body electric and to see uh, what if there was a, what kind of effects it, it would have. <coughs> so uh, I started wearing the, the metal bracelets on my wrist and, and I cover them with these uh, wristbands so I don't look too weird and uh, and I started wearing the uh, wearing them with a um, wet cloth between my skin and the bracelet to increase the uh, uh, the contact um, area and, uh, and which boosts my uh, the amps up if you have a better contact too so uh, anyway and uh, so the first uh, effects that I noticed from wearing the bracelets all day long um, was that uh, I would uh, notice some tingling sensations in my body um, on just various places uh, a lot in my head though um, like, like my, I feel like my scalp was uh, itchy you know and I have to scratch it all the time and uh, so I, I noticed that was, was first and then uh, I also noticed that I had a lot more energy and that I needed less uh, needed less sleep like the second second day that I wore the bracelets all day long, I stayed up that whole night, uh, and I, I just never got sleepy. So I stayed up, and then I stayed up the whole next day without taking a nap, and then I was up till one o'clock in the morning the following night, and, and and I was still doing pretty good, and I said I, I got to go to sleep, so I uh, I made myself go to bed, and. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, so I've been wearing them uh, during the day, and, and I definitely uh, feel better. Um, I, I, no, no bad effects at all. Just some tingling. Uh, I need, I have more energy, and I need less sleep. That's the three things that I've noticed so far. So now we're going to uh, we're going to build a, a a wrist battery. So let me take off this uh, copper one, and I'm just going to build one on one wrist so we can see and we're just going to uh, incorporate titanium dioxide and graphite in this one and because I can't use uh, a bunch of loose graphite um, in the cell I'm going to use this uh, graphite felt uh, that I have and it's, and it's a quarter inch thick so uh, it should make good contact between uh, between the uh, plates and I'm, I've already got the uh, the wet towel underneath of it there from my contact but I'm not going to be measuring it through my body I'm just going to be measuring what the cell produces and so what I've got here is a roll of uh, flannel cotton that's I've got wet in uh, in um, distilled water and but this I've put a layer of uh, titanium dioxide with a, uh, a little bit of uh, PVA glue in it as a binder and see it's not coming off of it so that's good so I don't want to put it on there and then uh, have it leak all off so I'm just going to wrap this now around the zinc plate and there's so uh, that'll be our separator paper or separator cloth in this case like that and it'll hold water too so that solves the water problem and then now I'll just slip the copper band over top of that like that oops not yet forgot to put the graphite in there and I also got to make sure I got a room to for a contact here and I think I'll hook up the uh, negative right now before I put it all together dig under here and find it all right now I'm back I got it together 
and I got to put the wrist band around it to uh, kind of hold it tighter together and you can see I've got uh, 0.81 volts in climbing so we'll see what we get so we got looks like it's stabilizing around 0.816 like so all right so now let's uh flip it over on uh, on milliamps and we'll short it out let's see I think I'll disconnect this positive and then we'll flip it over it should be at least 20 milliamps I would think so we'll set it on the we'll set it on the 200 milliamp scale and we'll short it out here and see what we get. You ready? Alright. Three, two, one. Oh, so we got uh, not very good. 2.3, 2 2.4 milliamps. And now let's short it out and see what kind of amps we get now with some salt in it. And now, oh yeah, look, we're up to 6.6 .6 milliamps. 6.7 so it wouldn't be too hard to get uh, 15 or 20 milliamps I think if I took the uh, the uh, separator out and soaked it in that first and uh, well, I might as well do that let me do that and I'll come back and we'll test it again I'll be back alright I'm back and what I did was I soaked the graphite felt in the uh, zinc chloride Okay, and we can see that our voltage is 90.9, almost there it is, 0.91. And let's uh, disconnect here, flip over to the amps reading. There's 200 milliamp reading. And let's short it out and see what we got here. Ready? 3, 2, 1. There we go, 7.7, 7.8, 7 almost 8 milliamps. And check the recharge on it. We're all, we're already back up to 0.9. Oh, look, we're actually climbing higher this time. So it looks like it's going to do the same thing that we did with the with the other ones. Where let's let's try that. Let's see, we're almost up to 0.92 right now. So let's uh, discharge it again and see if we go, if our amps go higher. I'm betting they do. So that was a, that was a pattern we've seen all along. Ready? 3, 2, 1. And we did it. We had 8, 2. There's 8, see? There's 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5. It's really climbing fast right now. Uh, oh, look at there. It was a little pressure. I didn't have it tight enough. We got uh, 30 milliamps. And climbing. And it was already sitting on there for a while before, so I bet it's higher than that. Alright, so I need to make some type of a tightener on this to tighten it up if I really want to get some. Alright, so there's 30 milliamps right there. And that's enough to run a jewel thief circuit. Alright, I'm back with a new circuit to show you, and this circuit is absolutely brilliant, <coughs> and it was developed by a guy, uh, Innovation uh, KH, and, and I'll include the, uh, the link to the video for this uh, in the description box, and it's really simple, and I'll, I'll explain it to you, and it's only, and it only has six electronic components to, for, the, for the whole thing. There's two identical transistors here. I haven't looked them up yet, but they're A1442 transistors. And then there's two resistors here, 1K resistors down here. And then there's one small, uh, one um, a microfarad, uh, 250 volt high voltage uh, uh, capacitor here. And then there's one big electrolytic capacitor that's 1250 volts and 392 joules 
here on this and this is the final coil which is AC so this is a, it's an inverter um, a transformer inverter and it goes uh, it takes 12 volts up to I'm assuming 1200 volts so it's a it's a hundred to one transformer and uh, so he's got 400 turns on this final coil on it on a ferrite rod the size of this right here and, and I've got 250 turns on this one right here for this coil right here I'm using three car three turns of uh, house wire uh, big thick heavy house wire and I haven't made this coil by filer coil yet but anyway and so we have a feedback loop here that goes it links these two bases for the for the uh, on the transistor together and then the bifiler coil right here and it's oppositely wound uh, left and a right hand turn on this and that loop uh, contains the, the little small uh, capacitor and that loops the two capa uh, two collector uh, from the uh, transistors together so we got this one connecting the the bases together we got this loop connecting the collectors together and then the uh, the emitters are hooked together come out here and they just tie into the to the positive 12 volt uh, side of it and both of these both of these transistors right here and you see normally the emitters in most uh, circuits these people are using are goes to the uh, goes to the negative right here and this one here is just asked backwards so he's running re reversed bias and that lowers the resistance of the circuit from what I understand and I don't know a lot about electric uh, electronics I'm learning as I go here so he's basically doing everything with coils and look at the number of coils he has he has a 400 turn coil he has a bifiler uh, 16 turns 8 in each half and he has a 3 turn uh, coil down here and then he has a toroid over here with 50 turns on it and, and it's not a transformer or anything it's in there purely as an inductor and so what I want to use this for and I've got this great big toroid, toroid uh, ring right here that I've got and I, I've, I actually I've got three or four different sizes but this is the biggest one right here and so for my outdoor uh, for my power system here for the trailer and stuff I'm going to use this toroid put it in the circuit right here and then connect this to my ground circuit that I've that I've got for pulling energy out of the ground and, and this is the right now it's drawing 186 uh, uh, micro uh, volts I've got a copper pipe driven into the ground and then I'm connected the uh, the other ground circuit is the is the electric ground for the trailer here and this voltage here uh, fluctuates uh, during the day it tends to be higher it's, it's gone up to as high as uh, 0.23 volts and I've seen it as low as 0.7 or 176 uh, volts so this fluctuates so it's around two but it stays around two volts and you can see it going up and down right now slowly uh, so anyway and so uh, anyway I'm, I'm getting ready uh, starting to build this little thing right here I just have to locate these uh, these uh, parts for this and then put it together and like I say I've got a uh, I've got a ground circuit already that I can pull electrons out of the ground with and I'm going to build a uh, build the air uh, collecting circuit uh, soon and then uh, try to hook all this together and see what I can uh, and see what I can get out of that so uh, that's where I am on that and I think that's probably it for this video so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time